Welcome everyone, in order to use Stage Manager in iPadOS 16, you must have a supported iPad. For most people, iPad Pro 2018 or newer, you're good to go. If you have an iPad in between, then I'll have a supported devices list in the description that you can check out. Next, if you want to use Stage Manager with an external display, only M1 iPad Pro and newer is supported, so keep that one in mind. Okay, so using Stage Manager, the first step is we need to slide down from the far right hand side of the screen. And now we have this little Stage Manager icon showing up right here. So if we tap on this icon, you're going to notice it says Stage Manager is on. But right now, nothing has really changed, okay? I open up an app, everything looks normal. However, what you may not notice is we now have this little white uh, curve right here. So what this does is if we swipe up and to the left like so, and then release, you can see we are now brought into the stage manager view. So on the left hand side here, we have four of the most recently opened up apps. At the bottom, we have the dock. On top of this, we have these triple dots, and we can use those triple dots to add an application if we would like to. So let's say I want to have multiple applications in the stage manager view. I'm going to select an application, let's say uh, music. I'm gonna drag and drop. And when you drop, you can see we have two applications showing up right here. You're gonna notice the stage manager view has gone away. You can swipe out from the left, okay? As you can see, the view has come back. You can drag and drop applications from this view. So we'll drag and drop. And you can have up to four applications in the stage manager view at once, okay? So app one, app two, app three, and then app four, okay? You're also gonna see the white you know, curve, and you can use that to resize the applications, okay? So I'm gonna resize like this. Uh, you can also move around the apps from that triple dots. Now we have the four applications open up just like so. Okay, what if we want to select an application for the stage manager, uh, which isn't in the dock or isn't in this side area? So what you're gonna do is, first of all, you must have less than four apps. So I'm gonna make sure we only have three apps. You're gonna tap on the triple dots and you're gonna see here, add another window, tap on this. And from here, you're gonna be brought to the multitasking view where you can see all of the applications in your multitasking. So let's say I want to use um, calculator, I select this. Now the calculator from the multitasking is selected. On top of this, you can drag and drop applications from the home screen into the stage manager view. So if we do a flick up like so to go home, and uh, let's say I want to add books to the, you know, the multitasking, long press on the app, drag, and then with another finger, we're gonna slide up and hold to go into multitasking. We're gonna see here these, uh, this free application group. I'm gonna tap into this. I'm then gonna release. And you can now see that application has been added to the stage manager. Now at any time you see this application here, let's say the books, I want to make it full screen, okay? In order to do that, you find where this white, you know, this white curve is. And you just drag down and then to the right until you see the full screen and then you release and you're brought to the full screen view. You will also notice that the stage manager session you had with the three or four applications is still here, okay? You can see it still has all these four applications grouped. However, this app is currently full screen. If we just flick up again, you can see those applications we had previously opened, they stayed in the background. You can also tap on the triple dots here and you see the full screen button. If you tap on the full screen, you can see boom, that will also bring the app into full screen. Okay, if we tap into this and then we tap on the minimize, that will bring 
the application minimized into the stage manager view right here. If you do want to have it so you know the other apps aren't available in the background, you just want this one app open, let's say music, then you just select the applications, tap on the triple dots, tap on close, triple dots, close, and we slide down and we're in a full screen view. Now there's more customization with the stage manager. Uh, however, you may notice that we have here the magic keyboard. The magic keyboard does have um, not really much extra stuff, but you, there's, there's some stuff you can do with the magic keyboard. So if you have a magic keyboard, skip to the timestamp down below to change the stage manager settings. But if you do have the magic keyboard, you can see my cursor right here. If you go to the edges of an app view, you can see we have this arrow here. Okay, so you see that arrow. And if you just drag, boom, you can see you can resize the app view from anywhere, okay? If you're using touch, you must use this curve area. But if you're using the magic keyboard, you can resize from anywhere in the app. Uh, on top of this, if you bring your cursor to the edge and then swipe to the left, try that again, boom, you can see the recently opened up apps will show up. And then, of course, you can drag and drop and boom, you're going to have multiple apps showing up. On top of this, you can, of course, use the regular three finger swipe up in order to access multitasking. The regular scroll is also going to work as well. And if you bring your cursor over the triple dots and click, you're going to have the same options show up as well. Now, let's open up the settings app. From here, we're going to select where it says home screen and multitasking. You can see the multitasking option. Let's tap on this and you can see use stage manager on this iPad is turned on. Uh, obviously, it would be turned on because we activated it from the control center. But we're also going to notice is the layout. So when you're doing a stage manager session, let's say you aren't using the dock much if at all. OK, you can actually turn off the dock in the stage manager and that will give you a little bit of extra space. So if I go into here, what you have to do is in order to access the dock, you would do an extra swipe up. OK, and if we click, you can see the dock will hide itself. This is great if you're not happy with the current space you have. Now, I think, you know, turning off the dock is recommended because, you know, boom, you slide up from the bottom with the magic keyboard, drag, drop, and you sort it, okay? On top of this, if you don't like the four recent apps showing up, you can also turn this option off, right? Um, so that means you cannot um, see it immediately, okay? But you can slide, okay, to the left, your magic keyboard and the recent apps will still show up. Of course, if you slide with your finger, they will show up. However, the recent apps will not always show up, okay? It will hide just like the dock does as well. And what does it, uh, what that allows you to do is it just means you can have more space than you'd usually have, okay? So let's bring this into the stage manager view. And typically, if you had these applications a little bit smaller. So I'm going to reduce the size of these. Right now, the stage manager would show up. In fact, I can prove that by turning this on. You can see the stage manager view will show up. But if you turn it off, then it's never going to show up and you get a little bit of extra space. If you do plan on connecting to an external monitor, you essentially will have the exact same controls as I showed earlier. But again, if you want the monitor to be extended, you must have iPad Pro M1 or newer, okay? Uh, so M1 chip or newer, otherwise the stage manager will not work on the external monitor. All supported devices for everything is in the description. And with that being said, thanks for watching. If you want to support me and you use Amazon, if you shop and buy anything from Amazon using my affiliate link in the description, I'll get a commission uh, Amazon usually takes. Bye-bye.